Hello, Mr. Biter here to talk about synthetic and natural materials. So what are synthetic and natural materials? Well, natural materials are the materials that are found in nature. They're from the earth. They're not man-made. You can just go out and, and pick it up easily. You don't have to do anything to it really, and you have that material. It can be found naturally. Now, examples of this include wood, you know, rocks, plants, anything you can go out and you can just get in nature that is not man-made, not created by people, it must be natural. This is opposed to synthetic materials, also called artificial or man-made things, and these have to be changed from what they were in nature, that natural material, into something that's synthetic. And this wooden spoon is natural. It's just made from wood that's been shaped. It keeps the same properties of that wood. Whereas this plastic spoon was made through a series of chemical reactions from petroleum. It is synthetic. And examples of synthetic things include plastics, uh, polyester, uh, even steel won't exist in nature as right? an alloy created by people. So much of what we in our everyday lives use uh, from you know the pencils that you have in class and pens all those things paper that is a synthetic material it's made somewhere in a factory by uh, people but it's through a certain set of processes and let's talk about that now we get synthetic materials uh, from natural materials we have to take those natural materials and then change them through chemical reactions into new things with new properties. So the example I have here is limestone and clay. If we grind down limestone and have clay uh, put together, and we heat it up, we get cement. And that's uh, by some uh, chemical reaction that is uh, enabled by adding heat to it. So cement doesn't exist naturally. We have to make that. And so we do that through uh, changing its properties by having chemical reactions. Now another example of how we get uh, some synthetic materials is plastics. Plastics start as oil that's underground. It's a fossil fuel. It's from a decayed plant matter from millions and millions of years ago. And people pump that up out of the ground and they transport that crude oil to a refinery. And that oil refinery separates out the petroleum products in the different types of oils. And the ones that are good for making plastics are then taken to plastics factories where they're turned into uh, anything from plastic plates and cutlery uh, to toys um, and surgical equipment. So all the way from in the ground, fossil fuels, decayed plants from millions and millions of years ago to your kitchen. And here are some examples um, of plastics, probably like a dollar store somewhere. Um, and, you know, all the different properties you can see, colors and everything that we can get from plastics. Now, synthetic materials do have some impacts on society. And uh, you can probably imagine that plastics in particular, if we didn't have them, uh, we'd have a very different life. Um, but synthetic materials are very versatile, right? They can come and make a lot of different things from cement for building um, as a synthetic material. You know, paper is a synthetic material. You can imagine not having paper to write on and you'd have to write on slate like they did hundreds and hundreds of years ago. Um, and we have these benefits of being able to make them in mass quantities as well. Disadvantages of synthetic materials is that often they can pollute. So they can cause different kinds of pollution from air pollution when they're made in factories um, to uh, oil spills when oil's transported to make those plastics. And they also use natural resources at the beginning. So even if we're using something like wood as beginning natural resource, right, that has to be got from someplace. So we can't get something from nothing. Right? Those synthetic materials have to use materials that were natural to begin with which could have an effect, especially when you cut down lots of trees, for instance, to make paper products. And these can also affect human health sometimes in adverse ways. 
still. Plastics in particular, they can come in all shapes and sizes. They can be flexible, they can be very brittle, they can be very strong, but often uh, plastics are also very inexpensive. Um, that's why you can often find lots of plastic things at uh, you know, the dollar store, for instance, because uh, they're very inexpensive, but they're very versatile and that can be used in many different ways. And we use them from everything from making uh, safety equipment like plexiglass and shatter resistant windows. We can make lots of medical and science equipment from this. Um, for instance, we can have uh, the, those purple nitrile gloves that I use in class. Those will not cause an allergic reaction because they're synthetic, unlike latex, which can cause a, an allergic reaction to someone. And also you can imagine construction being done without things like um, fiberglass insulation or PVC pipes. Those synthetic materials are very important um, in the construction industry. There are, of course, uh, negative impacts of uh, plastics. And plastics um, often can be absorbed into human bodies. Um, some of the chemicals used in them, like BPA, bisphenol A, which you might be familiar with. Uh, this is a, you know, a possible carcinogen. Um, some studies have shown that it causes cancer. Um, and so you'll see uh, bottles that'll have you know, BPA free on them to show that they don't have this chemical. However, all plastics seem to have some kind of chemical that might have some adverse effects. Um, often that plastic, uh, when it's not uh, recycled properly, can end up as litter and pollution and go off and um, damage and hurt wildlife. And when it is put into landfills instead of uh, recycled plastics, uh, can sometimes leach harmful chemicals. And uh, we have to use oil to make it. Right, and oil is not always a nice thing to have in your environment. Um, it can, you know, really cause damage to water supplies, and because you don't want to drink oil, so these uh, plastics use oil, and we have to use energy to make them. So uh, there are some negative impacts of plastics, but if you can imagine the benefits of having them, uh, really, you know, we can't go back to not using plastics. They're so important to our lives. So in summary. Uh, for synthetic and natural materials. The synthetic material is made from uh, natural materials that go through some uh, chemical reactions. These synthetic materials, there's costs and benefits, there's good and bad things about them, and the way we use them can affect the environment in some negative ways. Um, but these synthetic materials are very versatile and we're not going back to not having them. So I want you to really consider about when you use things now, you know, what is it made out of? Right? Is that a synthetic or a natural material? And where did it originally come from? Where did the parts and the compounds and materials that make up what you use every day, where did they come from?